This is the future. Before we begin this video, I would like to announce again that the winner of the 1000 Platinum giveaway just claimed his prize. For those who think that I'm fucking scamming my community with this giveaway, then just check out my video announcement about it and, the winners can prove that the giveaways are real. I don't usually post the winner in a video unless they haven't claimed their prize yet. If you think I'm scamming people, then direct message me on Discord and I will show you all the proof in my giveaways. Now that that's out of the way, let me announce that I'll be giving another 1000 platinum this week. To join, simply visit the link I have provided in the pinned comment below. Why so many giveaways squad leader? Well, you deserve it. I just like to give back to my community after all that you have done for me. Thank you so much and now, let's get into the video. I have time off with Warframe when I played the new looter shooter named The First Descendant. I felt at home playing the game as it was a mix of Warframe and Destiny 2. Both games are live service, and they are both free to play, and the first descendant was just like their newborn son. And just like a newborn, many things need to improve in the game and admittedly, both Destiny 2 and Warframe felt like they are more polished games compared to the first descendant. If you have played the beta test of the first descendant, then you will know how bad the graphics are on the first day. Imagine releasing a beta test where you don't give the option to players to change the graphic settings in advanced mode. It was a complete disaster in the eyes, especially for those who don't own any 4K monitor with third generation graphic cards and super high end processor. I did play it with an RTX 2070 graphics card, with an Intercore 7 processor, and in 1920 by 1080 monitor, but still, I did not feel any awe in terms of graphics. It's like a downgraded Destiny 2. Funny thing is, the game is built in an Unreal Engine, while both Warframe and Destiny 2 are built in their respective engine, but they outperform the first descendant in terms of graphics. The graphics of the first descendant was generic compared to Destiny 2 and Warframe. In addition to that, there's just so much to do in both Warframe and Destiny 2. I'm not comparing just the first descendant here, but in terms of content and in-game activities, both Destiny 2 and Warframe outshine their competitors. There's just a lot of content you can explore in both games especially if you are a new player. Lots of items to collect, tons of enemies and bosses to face, a whole lot of story to explore, and tons of cool stuff to discover. On the other hand, the first descendant felt like just it's the same grind wherein its main focus is to get all the characters, or what they call descendants in the game. There are so many weapons in the game, but it felt like they are not that unique at all and you only get them to increase your DPS or use them so you can benefit from runes or what we know as mods in Warframe. On the other hand, Destiny 2's guns are unique and very unique, and somehow are the pride of the game aside from the Guardians. While in Warframe, you can choose a variety of weapons, and they will combo well with a specific Warframe setup. This allows build variety and more things that you can experiment on both characters and their weapons. I know for a fact that the first descendant is at its very early stage, and I think this is one factor that this new game doesn't have yet. The longevity of both Warframe and Destiny 2 enables them to provide lots of content to their community. Both games are way ahead in terms of content compared to the first Descendant, but I hope that the game will catch up to these long time live service games soon. Admittedly, while it's fun playing the characters in the first Descendant, they also offer a different variety of gameplay and how you approach each mission. There's nothing yet in the game that you can say that I will religiously play this game. Well, as I have said, we only got a portion of the first Descendant during beta testing so, we can't judge it fully. But seeing the missions that I experienced firsthand, I can say that it's the same loot to shooter wherein you grind for loot to kill high level enemies and gain more powerful loot to kill more powerful enemies. It's an endless process, and I think many of you can agree that the only way to keep players from playing the game is to keep pumping new content, make the missions interesting by giving some challenge and worthy rewards, and have a great story that will make the community engaged in the lore of the game for years and years to come. This is what both Warframe and Destiny 2 are doing, and that is why, still, these are the best live service game available today. Despite sometimes that the developer keep repeating their mistakes, releasing half-baked content, or even taking away content and then reselling it again to their player base, we players kept coming back. Why is that? 
Also between Warframe and Destiny 2, why do I prefer Warframe over Destiny 2? There are a couple of reasons, and as we all know, opinions vary. You may not like the game anymore, but I still enjoy it because of various reasons, and just like what I always say in my videos, every thought is accepted and you always play what you want, whenever you want, and however you want. In my case, aside from the fact that both Destiny 2 and Warframe stand out in terms of graphics against other games out there, the gunplay of Destiny 2 keeps me interested, along with their raid content which is the biggest upside of the game. For Warframe, it's all about the weapon and Warframe synergy, combos that will make you a power creep in the whole universe. What about Destiny or Warframe squad leader? Well, it's obvious, I like Warframe over Destiny 2. I don't want to get biased here because I am mainly a Warframe content creator, but the way Digital Extremes handle their gaming model is far better compared to Bungie in my opinion. Warframe is the definition of a true free-to-play, even until now, despite the shenanigans on the Prime Resurgence, it's still the best free-to-play for gamers who love player versus environment content. The only thing I can't access freely is Tenogen skins and Prime access stuff like those Prime Cyan Danas and attachments. The rest of the game is free. On the other hand, Destiny 2 has free content, and you can access the base game without paying, but their expansions do cost real money. Believe it or not, I have all the expansions of Destiny 2. I bought them all since day one because I was a big Destiny fan. During its console days, I was very interested in playing the game but sadly, I haven't got the chance to do so because the console for me was too expensive at those times. I was super stoked that the game will arrive on Steam, and I bought everything since day one. But sadly, after a couple of months, I can't put myself into the game. It felt like something is missing and buying every new expansion felt the same, and it did not give me that interest in actually playing the game religiously. It got worse when Bungie decided to remove all the content that we already purchased, and decided to put it back a few months after, it felt like I got scammed and stopped playing the game. However, Warframe was very different as I just keep coming back into the game without that stress and feeling that something is missing in the game. I always enjoy playing different combos with Warframe, and I'm always interested in the new content that they are bringing into the game. Sometimes, you get a surprise factor, just like the Helminth system on the demos update that got me into another thousand hours of rampage in Warframe. Destiny 2 has surprise features also, and these two games are ever evolving but, I guess I just like free stuff. Now, I would like to know what get you into playing Warframe, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, Squad Leader signing off.